Sacramento Kings have continued their campaign from the previous season where they suffered a heartbreaking elimination in the first round of the playoffs against the Golden State Warriors. Now, they are highly motivated to make a long run in the postseason. Although the Kings enter this game with slightly lower spirits due to three consecutive losses, the reasons lie in challenging road games in Philadelphia, Milwaukee, and Phoenix. The loss to the Bucks was particularly painful, with head coach Mike Brown bringing a laptop to the press conference to highlight officiating errors that dissatisfied him. De'Aaron Fox and DeMantas Sabonis remain pivotal for the team, while Keegan Murray and Malik Monk efficiently utilize their minutes. Kevin Huerter has experienced a significant decline, and if he doesn't improve soon, this might be his last year in Sacramento. Given that the Sacramento Kings aim to finish within the top four in the Western Conference, these are the games they must win. The absence of Tyrese Halliburton has affected the Indiana Pacers' performance, and the Kings should capitalize on this. Indiana Pacers have suffered defeats against the Denver Nuggets and Utah Jazz, placing them at 23-17. They hold a substantial lead over the ninth place Chicago Bulls, making it likely that they will be part of the playoffs this season. However, they must navigate through the next period without their superstar. Since Tyrese Halliburton's injury, the Pacers have played four games, winning two, but those victories came against weaker opponents like the Washington Wizards and the average Atlanta Hawks. Buddy Heald has taken on more responsibility in the offense, and Benedict Mathurin provides crucial minutes off the bench. Under Rick Carley's leadership, Miles Turner has played some of his best basketball in the last two seasons, and much will be expected from him to lead during Halliburton's absence. The advantage for the Indiana Pacers in this matchup is that they had more time for rest and preparation, a non-negligible factor in such a demanding schedule. Even without Halliburton, the Pacers will stick to their idea of running and shooting early in the offense, and when they are hitting their shots, they can be dangerous against any team. Last season, the head-to-head -head between the Sacramento Kings and Indiana Pacers was 1-1. Absences and injuries. Sacramento Kings have no injury concerns. Tyrese Halliburton will not play for the Indiana Pacers, while Bruce Brown, Aaron Nesmith, and Benedict Matherin are questionable. The Indiana Pacers will undoubtedly aim to perform better than in their previous two away games, and they will be fresher than the Sacramento Kings. The freshness might play a role, but to what extent remains to be seen? What is more certain is that we can expect a game at an ultra-fast pace with a high number of points on both sides, leading to our prediction of seeing at least 242 points. Our prediction is over 241.5 points. Remember, yeah. I will be